So we have been continuing to follow the developments of a new stimulus package soon to be passed by Congress. Now, the proposed stimulus deal is expected to include roughly $300 per week in enhanced unemployment benefits, about half the size of the enhanced benefits that the federal government paid during the spring. The bill would also most likely include an additional round of direct payments to individuals, a new emergency rental assistance program, and additional funding for food assistance, small businesses, schools, broadband, and vaccine distribution. We are close to an agreement. It's not a done deal yet, but we are very close. Now, for Democrats, this has always been about getting the American people the, re the relief they need at a time of an acute national crisis. Jerome Powell, chairman of the Federal Reserve, emphasized the need for more stimulus. He said the case for fiscal policy right now is very, very strong. And the Federal Reserve is keeping interest rates at rock bottom levels. Central bank officials made the decision to keep rates near zero after its latest policy meeting on Wednesday. Now, the federal cut rates to near zero in March because of COVID-19. And the committee says rates will likely stay there until the end of 2023 as the economy recovers from the pandemic. Federal Chair Jerome Powell has repeatedly said the central bank as well as Congress and the White House may need to do more to help consumers and businesses. And meanwhile, after months of stalemates and disputes, lawmakers on both sides say they are confident they will reach a deal on pandemic stimulus funding.